little friends, my name is Kate. I'm going to be reading you a Bible story today from the Laugh and Learn Bible for Kids. Today we're reading about creation. Let's begin. In the beginning, there was God. Not just God, nothing else. No trees, no hummingbirds, no ants, no stars, no galaxies, no mountains, no whales, no bats, no kids, no grown-ups, no grandmas or grandpas, no caterpillars, no lakes, no oceans, no horses, no elephants, and no frogs, not even little tiny ones. Just God. You might think he was lonely in all that nothingness, but God wasn't lonely because God wasn't alone. You see, God is like us in some ways. He thinks, he feels, he acts. But in other ways, he is very, very different. God is everywhere. He knows everything. He is never wrong, ever. And one other way God is different, and this one is tricky, is God is more than one. There is one God, but there are three persons in God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Three persons in one God. I told you it was tricky. And that is why God wasn't lonely, because he wasn't alone. There is love within God, and there is friendship within God, and there is family within God. One day, God decided he wanted to make a universe. He said, it's time for us to begin. And boom, he started making stuff. Why? Because it made him happy. God made shining stars in the big burning sun. He spun galaxies and solar systems and planets. Then he picked one particular planet and said, watch this. And boom, he made mountains and oceans and lakes and streams. He made plants grow tiny little leafy ones smaller than a pebble, and big giant ones that climbed toward the sun. It was very good, but God wasn't done. Next, he made living creatures so small you could barely see them, and then fish and birds and giant dinosaurs. He made swimmy creatures and crawly creatures and creatures that fly, whales and dolphins and giraffes, giant sloths and woolly mammoths. He made monkeys, little ones and big ones. Howling monkeys and swinging monkeys and monkeys so small they could sit in a teacup. It was very good, but God wasn't done. The creatures God made were amazing. Some were beautiful and others funny looking. Some were very tall and others very short. They had long necks and short necks, fur and feathers, big teeth and tiny beaks. But none of the creatures were like God. They couldn't think the way God thought, feel the way God felt, act the way God acted, and the friendship God had with himself, the forever friendship that had always been and always will be, these creatures couldn't join that friendship. They couldn't join God's family. So God now said, now watch this. And then he made something truly special, a creature that could think, feel, and act, just like God could think, feel, and act. A creature that could join God's family. God made us. Thank you for reading along with me today and I hope you have a wonderful day.